You've probably committed at least one of these in your lifetime, and hopefully by now you've realized the mistakes you've made. So like I said, these are common mistakes that a lot of guys make when it comes to their style. The first one is when skinny guys decide to wear oversized clothing to make themselves look wider. Now I see where the train of thought comes in and why they would want to do that, but in reality, it actually makes you look skinnier and like you're swimming in baggy clothing. And the second mistake goes along with that same train of thought and that's the guy that's a little bit, you know, heavier and decides to use tighter clothing to look leaner. This is the same guy that will use a dress shirt as Spanx hoping to hide their love handles. So what you want to do goes, again, the same train of thought. You want to find clothing that fits your body properly. There is no excess fabric, but also isn't too tight. If it's too tight, it's going to show just how big you are. And obviously anything too big is going to make you look bigger. If you find a right tailor and you get your clothes altered properly, you can hide some of your imperfections and enhance your attributes. So before we keep going, I do wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, and that's The Fifth Watches. As I've talked to you guys before, The Fifth Watches is an awesome brand that only release on the fifth of the month, hence the name. And the really cool thing about them is that don't let the name fool you, they don't only sell watches, they sell sunglasses and backpacks, so they have a, a lot of really cool minimal and aesthetic pieces that will definitely accentuate your wardrobe. I'm gonna have them linked below. Like I said, they only sell on the fifth of every month, and they usually end up selling out two to three days later so it's always best to sign up to their mailing list to not miss the drops now their watches are all high quality made I've always talked about them I always wear them the leather band is made out of Italian leather the casing is made out of stainless steel and the movement is Japanese movement and you're getting it at amazing price point guys so I'm gonna have them linked below definitely check them out guys the fifth watches is an awesome brand to pick up with them you know you're always gonna get a great deal at a great price point with really great quality now let's move on with this list the third misconception that a lot of men have is thinking that boots only belong on construction sites or to the goth crowd. I think this is such a huge mistake that men are making and if this is your train of thought, you're really missing out in a huge section of footwear when it comes to men. Boots are so awesome and will enhance any outfit and dare I say it, there's a couple that are a must in every man's wardrobe, like the Chukka boot, the desert boot, the Chelsea boot has become a must, and even some sort of dressy boot. These are boots that every man should look forward to acquire and add to their shoe collection. Number four is the guy that thinks that boat shoes is the epitome of dressy shoes. You get it all the time, or I, at least I see it all the time, where you get these guys that dress up and then they throw on some boat shoes as their dressy shoe option. Now, I have nothing against boat shoes. I think they're a great summer option, but they're casual. These are by no means a dressy shoe. If this is your only dressy shoe in your closet amongst a sea of sneakers, you definitely need to invest in a nice leather pair of wingtips or some sort of cap toe or a brogue. If you're a younger guy, I recommend you go with wingtips or even better, if you want something more casual that you can wear, something like a leather penny loafer or a leather tassel loafer. Now the fifth mistake, oh my gosh. When I see guys ruining the jean. Now the jean is such an amazing piece of menswear that looks great across a spectrum of outfits and different styles. But so many guys screw this up by committing two capital fashion crimes. The first one, overstressing their denim. Now this is a huge trend where you see guys wearing jeans that look like they're falling completely apart, huge slashes on their knees, and it just looks fabricated. For me, the solution would be to, yes, some distressed denim looks amazing, but keep it minimal and not to the point where it looks like your jeans are falling apart or it looks fabricated. Or even better, pick yourself up a pair of raw denim, wear them every single day, and let nature take its course. Now, the second capital crime I see guys commit with their jeans is wearing super skinny jeans to the point that they look like leggings. Not only does this look uncomfortable, it looks unsightly, it looks unflattering, and I'm pretty sure it's unhealthy. It's cutting your circulation. It's time to grow out of that phase and start wearing slim or straight cuts that suit you better. And finally, number six, the last mistake that so many men make, and I see it all the time, is wearing socks with sandals. I mean, have you ever met at least one guy be able to pull this off? Neither have I. The look just looks lazy, thoughtless, and like you just rolled out of bed. There's really no appropriate time or place that you can be wearing this unless you're going to and from the gym. 
Other than that, put on a pair of sneakers or shoes if you're going to be wearing socks. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are just a couple mistakes that are super prevalent and hopefully you are not making. Let me know what you think down below. Also, don't forget to like this video and to share it. And hey, you don't know, maybe we can help a fellow brother out. So that's it for me in today's video. See you next time.